All right, let's get started on our lesson on an introduction to variables. Variables really are one of the key fundamental pieces of programs. Variables keep track of things for you. So if you have a game and you want to keep track of the score, you need to have a way to remember the score. You need to have a way to increase or decrease or change the score. And you need to know a way to check the score. Maybe you want to say if the score is this, play this sound. If the score is that, jump to this new level. Easier just to show you what they're all about. To help you learn about this stuff today, we've actually given you a file that's already partly made. So if you want to go into your resource folder and pop open level three, lesson one, start here. This file's already been made for you and you'll see what it has is a room full of good stuff. A lot of it's coded already with stuff we've learnt, just to save us some time. Now there's a few different types of variables you can do in programming languages. We're going to start off with probably the easiest type for a beginner, which are called instance variables. Instance variables are variables you give to objects in your game. So we're going to give the player its own new variable and uh, for a beginner one, we'll start with points. So every player is going to have a certain amount of points. Here's how it's done. Let's go into the player object. You can make variables anywhere, but a good place is in the create method. Right when this player is created, we set them up. You'll see they've already been set their friction there. To make a variable in GameMaker, really easy. Just go points equals zero. What this does is the player object now owns this variable called points, and it has been set equal to the value of zero. So somewhere in the memory of the computer, that's being kept track of. Anytime we want to find out what the points are, you'll see in a minute how you can grab that number back to check what it is. Now that's creating a variable. That's going to stick with the player until the player is destroyed. Now, when do we want to give points? We're going to make this one nice and easy for our coding here. I'm going to add an event. Key press, letter P. I'm just going to make it almost like a cheat code. Everyone loves a cheat code that helps you out. You press the P key, we're going to up our points. Obviously, we go to our code. And to make this variable go up, very easy. Points equals points plus one. That's it. This is the standard way to increase a variable. If I wanted to decrease the variable, I could say minus. If I wanted to multiply, I could say points is points times 10. 10 times my points every time I hit the key. Okay, that's a little bit too good of a cheat though. So I'll leave it at adding one simple point. Now I should note here, this is a very common thing beginners will do, is sometimes they say points equals plus one. And it sort of may look right in your head saying, hey points, go up by one. But what this actually means is points set yourself equal to exactly one. And so it's very different. This will just keep our points stuck at one. This line makes them go up by one. Sometimes you do want to do that. Sometimes you want to do that. So you sort of have to decide depending on what you're trying to do. So let's get rid of that line. Points is points plus one. It's going up. Now, you want a way to see if this is actually working. I'm going to do a bit of a lame way today. Okay, just for quick testing here. This command pops up a little box, shows us a message. If you just copy the line down for now, that'll be good. This line here pops up a little box, show message. It's going to write the word points. Words are always inside of quotes. 
And maybe to make this a little more obvious, I'll say the points. This will write out. And then anytime you're trying to draw a number out, you have to use this little command. Just use it for now. We'll explain it another time. And there's the variable name, points. Let's give this a try. So I hit P. It started at zero. It added one and it drew it out. The points is one. Hit P again. Now it's two. Hit P again. I think you get the idea here. It works and it'll just keep going up forever. So what you have here is you now have a nice simple way to make variables go up and just to check that they're working in the background. Now let's add another one. We're going to add another way for the player to get points. This time, if you remember our room, we have the player and we have some ghosts here. What I'm going to add is I'm going to add as if one of my arrows, which you can fire by pressing the space bar, hits a ghost, we're going to give the player a point. It's going to show us a little something new. So let's go to that event. We're talking about a ghost getting hit by an arrow. This event's already been coded. Like we said, I put a bunch of stuff in there already to save you time. And here's the code that we already had written for this event. We make an explosion, play a sound, and with the other, which is the arrow, I destroy it. Notice I didn't destroy the ghost. I want to leave the ghost there as a target that we can just keep hitting over and over and over. I'm just going to tag some code here. You might be tempted to do this. Points is points. Let's say we give them five points for hitting a ghost. The problem with this, if we run it, you can try it, you'll get an error. The error is going to say, well, we may as well just run this and see what it says. Let's see how my aim is. Oh, the explosion with the airline. It says, for object ghost, that's nice, it tells us where the error is occurring. In the event, it says, points, points plus five. The variable get. Something about getting the variables not working. Here's what's going wrong. When we made the points variable, the points variable belonged to the player. It was made here inside the player's create method. This variable belongs to the player. This is a very important idea with variables when we make them this way. We're now coding inside of the ghost. So when this code starts to run, it says points. It's actually looking for a points variable that belongs to the ghost. And of course, we haven't given the ghost any points yet. To fix this problem, you actually have to know who owns the variables. Well, I know it's the player's points, so all you have to do here is go with, whoops, with object player, points is points plus five. This with statement is going to be commonly used, and all it means is, is run this line of code as if you're inside the player object. So if this runs inside the player, the player does have points and it's the player's points going up by five now. And if you want to do the same thing we did before, just to see that it's actually working, the draw line, we'll see it going up. So let's test it out. Nice. Points has gone up to five. Ten. I'm pretty good. Maybe not. 
I spoke too soon. Now, those are two ways to get your variables going. Okay. Common beginner mistake is you sort of forget who owns the variable. Just remember that if you're ever coding outside of the object where the variable has been made, you have to use a with statement for now. Okay, we'll show you other stuff later. Okay, there's going to be two challenges that you're asked to do. So go try those challenges, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.